Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul. So I went to the car boot that's a little further away today that's a lot bigger, I didn't go local. And I managed to find some really good stuff. So I'll show you what I bought. I have researched most of the stuff so I can tell you roughly what I'll be able to get for it and obviously what I paid for it. So here we go. So this is everything that I bought today. I spent £55, uh, so I'll go into detail now what I bought. So the first store I went to today had this Jumanji game. I have picked this up before. Um, I don't know if it's complete, again I haven't checked it yet, but I don't know what the price is around, 12 99 maybe. I paid £2 for that. Uh, I picked up this Meccano, again I've got to check what's in there. They did say it was complete, I'm not 100% no, because there's so many little bits to it. That was £1.50. Game of Life. This is the Adventures Edition. Again, with Game of Life, there's so many bits to it. I don't know if it's all there, but... Yeah. <laughs> It'll take a while to check that, but... I like Game of Life. There's so many bits to it that you can sell off if, for any reason, it's not complete. There's always money in it. That, again, was £2. Next I'll go with some media, this is just the basic media and I've got a really good find which I'll show you in a second. Uh, this is Professor Layton, the Eternal Diva. I bought this with a Star Wars figure, Ray, Jakku. I uh, bought those two for £3. I don't think that's going to be worth much really, but it was sealed Star Wars so I picked it up. And next some more just general DVDs, I've got this Little Britain Live because it's Little Britain. Uh, for bundle, a couple of Fireman Sam, these are the original series, uh, which is why I picked it up. Little Brint again, perfect for bundling, series 2 that one. The Very Hungry Caterpillar, uh, if you watch my charity shop holiday haul, you'll see I picked up a Hungry Caterpillar plush thing, so I might bundle that together, that was 50p. Uh, next I picked up this BBC drama called Our Zoo. I've never heard of it, but it looked really like nice. It's something I'll probably watch actually, but it is sealed. Uh, it was a pound, so I thought it was quite good for a sealed DVD, and it does sell between 8 and 10, so that's quite good. Next for 50p was a sealed Star Wars DVD. I couldn't pass that up. Uh, so yeah, Revenge of the Sith that was. Another sealed DVD, these were three for a pound, uh, Home Alone. It was sealed, so I picked that up. And then the other two were just bundle fodder. Got two Hobbit movies. And next, I found this little Cartman. He was 50p. I can only find completed listings on 11 inch ones, which are a lot more expensive. So I don't really know what's priced that one yet. I'm going to have to do more research on it. Next is one of the best finds for today. It's DVD Gold, 2.4 Children, BBC sitcom from the 90s. This is one of my all-time favourite TV shows. They've only ever released series 1 to 3 because of rights issues with certain episodes, which is so annoying because I would love the whole series to be on DVD. I don't think it's even on Britbox, I wouldn't know for sure because I don't have it, but this DVD set I know is worth money, 2.4 children because you can't get it anywhere, it's long deleted. Uh, it cost me £4, which I just <laughs> handed my money straight over to her because I knew it was worth more than that. The box set alone, if I sold it all as a box set, goes for between £40 and £50, so I'll probably try for £45 because it is pre-owned. Uh, but the discs are in really good condition, they're not scratched or anything. So yeah, I'll try it 45 and uh, see where we go from there. But yeah, absolutely made up to see that at a car boot sale. Next is a Fisher Price record player. It was £4. I don't know um, the age of it. I think it's one of these re-released things. Yeah, it says 2014 on there. Um, I had this as a kid, the original obviously, and um, it's got the records in the back. Um, I don't know how much it's worth, 
if it's working. I presume it's working. But yeah, that was quite a nice find. Shame it's not an original, but they're really hard to find. Next is one of these Guess Who games. It's a wrestling version. I picked up football ones before that go for about twelve ninety nine. This was a pound. So I picked it up. Then we'll show you this. It's a Winnie the Pooh key holder. I wasn't sure what it was, but these little hooks you're supposed to hook keys on. It's all official and everything. I've tried looking it up on eBay. There's one similar that sold around £10, uh, but that was the only one. I might try for £14.99 on there. And then we have a mug. This is a 101 Dalmatians Disney mug. Um, I haven't researched that yet, but it has got some crazing on it, so I don't know. The value won't be as much on that. Maybe £7.99. Again, I haven't researched this one, but it was a pound. It was a Walt Disney World tour. It doesn't have like Disneyland or anything on the bottom, but made in Thailand. That's where the um, most Disney mugs are made, so I know it's official. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to research that. But yeah, maybe around eight ninety nine, ten pounds Next, another find of the day was this little cute thing. I bought this for 25p because... I was going to keep it because it was so cute. It's a Nessie Thai Beanie Baby. And when I researched this one, I found out it's a really rare one. <laughs> there aren't many completed listings. Um, there's one that's sold with a key ring um, on an offer that was £70. Another one sold for a lot less than that with a key ring, so I'm not really sure why there's a difference but yeah I'm gonna to have to do a lot of research on that one just to make sure I price it correctly before selling it. Then from the same stall as that Thai Beanie Baby I got three of the plushes uh, 25p each space several or four for a pound. Uh, two Sesame Street characters Elmo and Cookie Monster I've got a couple of these already so I'll just sort of bun to make a couple of bundles each from them. Then we have a uh, Disney Store 2012, I presume it's a Christmas edition Minnie Mouse. That goes for about £10, again I only paid 25p for it. Next there was a stall selling off loads of Christmas cards. They had Hogwarts Harry Potter ones, which have Gryffindor and just Hogwarts on there. A couple of Friends ones, so Holiday Armadillo and Happy Turkey Day. And they had one of these left of birthday cards, friends related again. These were 50p each. I really don't know the value, but I can either do them as a bundle or sell them separately. But with Christmas coming up, I thought they were quite a good buy. Uh, then there was a lady that was selling Blockbusters. That's off a different store, but she had these two. I remember her from a few weeks ago. I purchased a game off her and paid a lot of money for it. I think it was the Go for Broke. This was £5 and she had these cards, like extra questions as well. So I asked if she would um, do both for £5 and she agreed. And so that was quite good. The game doesn't really go for much, maybe £12.99. I'm not sure about these. These are quite hard to find. I haven't managed to find them on eBay yet. So. A bit more research. I don't know if I'll bundle it with the game or whether just to Sam separate. And then there was this, which is on a different stall Blockbusters Gold Run card game. This was a pound. I don't know how much I'll be able to get for it. Um, maybe about £7.99. We'll try. Then we have a puzzle. I don't usually like picking up puzzles, but this one looked really nice and it was kind of Christmassy themed. It's Noah's Ark. I know it's not really Christmas, but it's religious. So it might go at Christmas. It looked like it was being taken care of, so hopefully it's complete. That was £2 and it will go for about £10. But I just like the picture. I think it's quite a nice picture on there. Next we have another Amazing find, vintage Sabutio. 
Now this sort of stuff does sell really well. Uh, so I do know vintage stuff is sought after. I paid five pounds for it, which I thought was all right. Um, there are, you can see that it's upside down, but you can see there's some players in there. I don't know if all of them are in there. There might be a couple missing. Uh, but I thought for five pound that wasn't too bad. It has been used. Uh, but these sell between 20 and 30, this set. As long as I title it well, it should sell for close to 30, hopefully. Um, I'll show you some plush next to mix it up. We have a jelly cat. Jelly cat um, stuff is really expensive, new. Um, so when I saw this one with a tag, I picked it up. It was four pounds. It should sell for about 20. So yeah, I was really happy with that. Uh, then we got some builder bears. Three today. Um, a really dirty pink bear, that was a pound. La La Loopsie doll, again a pound. And another one of these, which is really dirty. Um, it's a Hello Kitty, I bought one of these the other week, the same condition, missing a bow. Yeah, I think, I can't remember, but it's about 10 to 12 on that. Um, that was a pound I paid. La La Loopsie will probably be about a tenner, they're not really sought after. I might have to try and find some clothes for her. Pink Bear, no idea, it's just a basic one, so around a tenner, maybe, if I can find some decent clothes for it. And lastly, we have a couple of puzzles. We have a Star Wars Thousand Piece Ravensburger puzzle. I can't find this design, I've looked on eBay. Again, I've got to do some more research on it. Um, they'll go between 10 and 12.99. Um, I paid three pounds for that. And last thing was, what are these? I haven't heard of this. A dangerous book for boys. I presume it's a book. It's a 500 piece puzzle. Uh, it look, looks like it was new. I think it's new. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, so that was a pound, so I picked it up. It's not a huge seller. There's none sold on eBay. Um, around 7 99 maybe. So yeah, that was what I spent today. So £55 I spent. Selling wise, I don't know, it's around the £200 mark, but I haven't researched everything yet. So, two to three hundred pounds, hopefully. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe to my channel to see my future videos in a week's time. So, when I next see you on a video, I will be full time on eBay reselling. Uh, I finished my job on Friday, so I cannot wait to get started properly. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.